Alright, this is Marsh PC Wabash. Getting ready to do our review on Devil's Backbone Campground. Getting ready to do a little drive around, a little get out in spots. But, we're all set up. We got the roof. It's all squared up. Got the power run, everything's good. Got the full hookup. Got the little reflectex in the windows to get the most thing on top. Got water, sewer, pull through campsite. Now, before we leave, got this tip from Happily Ever Hanks and some other people. While you're away from your camper, come over and turn your water off. That way it takes the pressure off your water system while you're away just in case something unforeseen happens. The second tip came from the long, long lost dog pads. They're not just for puppies. They're your shower. Use them for your shower pad. We can get out the shower. That way you can take the shoes off. No worry about stepping on the floor. And it makes for a nicer shower getting dried off. That's your... That was a good tip. Alright. We're going for a little drive around. Alright, I'm back. We're at the far end of the full hookups. Looking back at the entrances. There's three roads in. Of course you can come down the middle and then pull straight through your site. Got some good sized campers, got some small campers, but this whole section is total hookup. And look at the view in the mountain that you're looking at out your camp. Well if you're parked on the left it'd be the camper side window. That's your morning view. Alright, I'm gonna check in from another area. All right, right in the middle of the RV sites with not full hookup and the full hookup sites on the other side of here is your dump, trash dumpers, and they're right in the middle of the walkway. I mean, uh, right in the middle of both sets of camps so you can walk to it easily within a couple minutes. Okay, all these little domes are clean outs of some sort or water meters for the campground itself so from those where that little flag is to over here is probably a field of some sort septic or something all these campgrounds I'm walking to or through or near are your standard standard hookup non-electric RV site so basically you can boondock and run your generator till except for the quiet hours which is 10 to 9 in the morning 10 at night to 9 in the morning so you can just pull in here camp run your generator each of them got a picnic table and fire pit so that's cool Alright, well I just drove the furthest up in here and it came out to a field of a parking lot. Don't really specify on the map what it is, but it's this little loop right here and this is where we just turned around. Alright, we're going back. This little side street that I just took down up there is the main road and a trailer but this is a hip camp spot right here and there's several along this road looks like one two three four five yeah five right along here there's a little path back to this one there's somebody back there camping now this Three Ridges Retreat, we were reading about it last night, is right here, but it has its own driveway. You can rent that entire building right there 
think he's saying he said he got four or five rooms in it. But that is rent for, I think, 700 a night. But you go into it with five couples, it's really not bad when you spread it out over everybody. And this is the little private driveway down to Three Ridges, Ridges Haven, the house that I just showed you. Alright, I ran across this airstream last night and I thought it was like a yearly camper, but no. This airstream is up for rent by the night and the view from that airstream, it has a lights that go around it, picnic table, fire pit, uh, grill, 30 gallon tanks, little porch, it's 200 a night. Breweries just a walk through the woods to the all the festivities here and that mountain is what you see out your windows All right now I'm out at what they call tent city It's a pretty big area for tent campers this is tent city right there little sign for it There's a few picnic tables scattered up in there and It's right across from the bathhouse, which has a big old map on the side of it. Showers are inside the bathroom. But we are right here at the bathhouse. Tent City goes some little bit of tent camping over here. I've seen some picnic tables. I'm go down here and I'm going to walk in here because there's somebody camping right here on this corner see if I can find the trail path and here's um, more of a less it just has like a trail I think that trails at Devil's Backbone so it's a pretty big trail we went all the way up here because that's where the road ended made a u-turn so there's a trail you can walk this entire Thing and work up a thirst and finish it off at the brew pub. All right, I'm gonna... and right here by the bathhouse is the trail. It take you straight over to the brew hub. This is part of Tent City. And picnic tables all down through this lane. Sites 51 through 58. All right, Ben, Lexi, got tent camp right here by the bathhouse. All right. We're gonna go continue our journey. There you go. Get this name right. It's Marshall PC Wobash. Just parked my truck at an access point along the Appalachian Trail. I wanna go over here and see this footbridge. It's going across this river. We're at the Priest Wilderness Parking Trail here. There's a map over here of, I guess, this section of the Appalachian Trail. But you can't do but so much filming. That's why I'm doing it from parking lot. And I'll see you when I see you next time. Alright. Catch you all in a minute. This is the priest area. Cross over the river. This is the footbridge for this section of the Appalachian Trail to go over this river. Alright. Pretty cool. Taking a little walk over. Oh, that's wild. A suspension wooden bridge. You can feel it wobbling. Ah, it's pretty cool. Going over a pretty good section of the river. Pretty rapids on that side. Got mosquitoes on my left side. It's Marsh PC Wabash, and we are at Bryant's cidery and apple orchard the guest area some picnic tables some bar stool type tables a little stage for some music and they got a little mister over here under the satellite dish we're getting ready to go on inside this is the stage the stage it's so hard to see this little right but that's nice Getting ready to go into their cider barn. 
go. <laughs> you guys haven't been here before, I'll explain the beer and cider to you a little okay. bit better. So we do brew everything here ourselves, the beer and the cider. We can everything ourselves as well. So when you're looking at our cider menu. All right, this is Mark's PC World Day. We're sitting down having a flight of these colorful ciders. What do we have here, Miss Sandy? Oh, let's see. Number one is the Brute Bright Good. Uh -huh. Number three is the Unicorn Fuel, which is rose hips and hibiscus. Mm -hmm. Number ten. Four. Uh, number four yeah, is the Blue Raz Sour. Six. A barrel aged something juicy. And what else? Eight. We have? Eight. We have Old Fashioned. And number 10. A Trailblazer Pineapple Cherry and Orange Peel. All right. We zoom back out. That's the lineup. Now we're going to go ahead yeah. and taste this Part stuff. Two. Well, continuing our Sunday adventure, we're at the Cardinal Brewing. I mean, the Cardinal Wine Vineyard and Winery. That's where we're at, not the beer joint. This is the tasting room up the steps. We're in the tasting room. We've got some stuff. There it is, Patty outside, live music, coming at two. Alright, this is the wine list, Rockfish Red. Be the first one, second one will be the Clay Hill. And the last one be this one. Pretty. All right. Well, we're gonna have our taste. Well, this is Marshall PC Wobash. We're wrapping up our crawl at the Black Bear Creamery right there. All right, dessert time. Yep. Last stop for the three-day crawl up 151. Yeah, 151. All right. It was the last day of our camping trip. We sleep out overnight and pack up tomorrow. So we're finishing off with a visit to the Black Bear Creamery with a three scoop of goodness. All right. Marshall PC Warbash. Like, share, and subscribe.